Hey all, hope you're doing well. Thanks for tuning in. Um, just wanted to talk briefly about um, things that we learn from very bad situations. And one of the things that I've th- uh, that I've learned is that really, really, truly appreciating the people that you love, your family, some of your close friends, and um, you know, there's nothing more important in life than the people that you love. And um, we can go through life sort of with blinkers on, distracted by a lot of things that are going on, work, the, the, the craziness of life, without really taking a step back and really appreciating, particularly our parents while they're while they're alive, because life is so short and. Um, it's you know it's only a finite amount of time that we're here. In a blink of an eye, uh, it, it, it's all over, and that's what everybody says, particularly older people as they get older. Um, and one thing that I've learned from losing my brother and some very close people is to really cherish the people that you love and spend as much time as, as you can with them. It's it's you just can't get that time back if you don't spend it with them. And um, I've really. You know, time management is one of the hard parts here and it's really critical to get as much as you can right so you can have cherished those moments with those loved ones and yeah I mean I've I, I've learned you know but it's really just a true trial and error really that um, make the right choices and decide make the right decisions to do the right thing in the sense of spend time with the people that you love you could go out for a day or two with friends or, or whatever it might be. And if they're the ones that you truly, truly love, then then that's great. But uh, I've really cut down on my wasting time uh, with the people that are not necessarily the people that I love or, or, um, or people that are bringing any happiness to my life, really. And, you know, I've spoken to, I've spoken to a lot of people about this, and I think most people agree that it's 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 really about the people that bring you you joy and happiness and peace um, and uh, you know that type of emotion and that's really really important to to factor in and zone in on. You know, uh, when I think back uh, about my brother, you know, he was 21, and I say 21, 12, 22, because it was his, around his birthday that he was. It was taken from us, and uh, I was 16. So I got 16 years of, of him. Obviously, I don't remember all of the first years, but uh, they were cherished moments. And I look back at my diary, and I look at those those moments with him. You know, I'm writing whatever we did, or he gave this to me, or we did this together, or whatever it is, which I'm actually going to talk about in later later um, shows. And uh, you can, I can never get them back. I can never get those times back with him. And losing him and losing other people, and we all lose people, like I said the last time, we're always, we all, we all have to go through this process. It's really just spending the time with the people that you love. And I think that's the big takeaway for me, is just just absolute commitment and devotion to, to managing your time, and making the right decisions to spend with the people that are are the most important to you um so you know actually it it, it, then it goes into time management so you look at the amount of hours and minutes you have each day so you got a lot of work obviously your career because you do your workout um you've got all these other distractions but at the end of the day are you just sitting down in front of the tv and not spending time with your kids or the people that you love or are you devoting that time to actually reading and reading with your kids as an example or, or doing things with them, going out, playing soccer, um, but spending real quality time with them. Um, that's that's what I really, really zoned in and focused on. It, it actually helps with the process of um, uh, grief, I find, because I'm so wrapped up in love and happiness with the, with my family and the people that I love that I just, it, it's such a beautiful thing that I don't really have the time to sort of distract myself with the with the, the loss of others that are not here to spend the time with. Now, obviously you don't forget about it, but 
it just helps um it helps with that and i wanted to share that i know we're getting a few questions around this too so uh yeah cherish your times with your loved ones cherish them go hell for leather with that time devoted all to them at least the you know 80 percent 80 percent with 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 as much as you can anyway with your with your family that's the main thing and then some of your close friends and really let go of the people that are not adding any happiness or value to you you know what's the point life is short um uh, and then the last thing i'll say about this is is uh is you know people can be taken away like that people drop dead they can be hit by a bus and um you know you just don't want to have any regrets uh in saying that i did not spend enough time with a particular person or particular persons so uh that's a that's a big thing for me and it's uh, it's it's part of it's actually part of healing it's the love that you you have for your family um and spending time with them it's part of the healing process and i've uh, there's nothing nothing makes me more happier than than being with them and that's what i needed and that's what i need and will always need is the people that i love around me um as i you know face this lifelong sentence of of grief and torment and uh, loss and injustice for my brother for my brother shane so i am going to start talking a little bit more about some of the things that started happening and as much as i can share because as i mentioned a lot of this will come out in the podcast which is the first phase of this um storytelling and exposure into what 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 happened and who those people were that were involved or or partially involved and um you know hopefully we'll be able to get the justice for the for the people that um were involved or if if not that I, I don't know if we'll get that but we'll definitely um hopefully we get as far as we can for for him it's our duty to do it for him uh we got the the luxury of living a life to you know hopefully till our old age this poor chap was taken in a horrific way um a horrific horrific circumstances uh, at such a young age so cherish the people you love spend as much time with them and if you have any questions reach out to me um direct message me on uh on the youtube or, or, or yeah i'll be putting up more information about how to contact me by the way so thanks for tuning in love your loved ones